Hi everyone, and hope you are doing well. You know sometimes you start to say something and then get uh, distracted. What, what was I? What was I going to say? And you go on and talk about something else. And sometimes we remember to come back to the first point and the thing we were going to talk about. And sometimes it just gets lost. Something similar is going on here as, as Paul starts this chapter with the words, for this reason. And then he seems to break off from what he was going to say. But at least he remembers to come back to it again in, in verse 14 with the same words. And we're going to focus on, on the second part, verses 14 to 21. But I would encourage you to spend time looking at the first part of the chapter. It's well worth doing. Because in it, Paul speaks about God's amazing plan to unite people in Christ. And we were thinking about this uh, last week. He speaks about how he and the church are called to be part of what God is doing, participants in God's activity. He speaks about how the church is to demonstrate to spiritual forces how God's wisdom is being demonstrated in the sacrifice of Jesus. It's, it's what we do and it's how we live that actually has a significance beyond what we can see. And he reflects on his own circumstances in that context. And he encourages the Ephesians to not worry about him. It doesn't matter what's happening to him. What matters is the gospel. So some amazing things packed into those verses. Why don't it take some time to explore them? There's some questions to think about next in the Spark service. And then later we'll look at the, the second part of the chapter. Some verses where Paul prays again for the believers.